guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about some of the worst comic book movies ever made. Now, I know that's a long list. There are a ton of just really, really bad comic book movies out there. But today, we're going to try and narrow it down to the eight worst offenders. The ones that make real comic book fans truly cringe. Now, in at number eight is just a truly horrible movie. This is, of course, 1994's The Fantastic Four. Now, the only reason this is at number eight and not at number one is because it was never actually released in a movie theater. In fact, most people have never even seen the movie. You've probably only seen small video clips or maybe a trailer or maybe even just some pictures from it. Now, those of us who have actually gotten a hold of a copy of this movie can really attest to how truly horrible this movie is. There's absolutely nothing redeeming about this movie in any way. In fact, this movie was only made to basically extend the film rights to the name The Fantastic Four and to those characters, and that was it. it was was never intended to be released. Fortunately for us, it never was, and let's hope it never sees the light of day. All right, now in at number seven we have Hulk. Now, not the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. I'm talking about Hulk, the Ang Lee directed movie starring Eric Bana and Nick Nolte. There's just really nothing good to say about this movie, especially if you're a comic book or a Hulk fan. I mean, the writing, the plot, the storyline, the directing, it was all bad. I mean, even the cast wasn't that good. I mean, Eric Bana would have done a decent Bruce Banner if the story had been written correctly, but it wasn't. We got a bad origin story for Hulk. I mean, Ang Lee's a good director, but he should stay away from superhero movies. It's just not his thing. And Nick Nolte's character in the movie as Bruce Banner's father and just the kind of mutated bad guy he turns into in the end that basically is just kind of a hodgepodge of different Hulk characters is just a really, really horrible idea for this movie. All in all, I guess if you don't care about Hulk or comic books in general, you might find it somewhat entertaining, but if you're a fan, it's definitely a horrible, horrible movie. Now, at number six, we have Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. Just a truly bad movie and a bad send-off for the Chris Reeves era of Superman. In my opinion, they should have stopped at number two, but we still ended up with this part four, The Quest for Peace. Everything about it was bad. The directing was bad. The storyline and plot was bad. The script was bad. The villain was horrible. I mean, even Chris Reeves in this movie was not at his finest when acting. I mean, it was almost like he just didn't care at this point. They knew it was going to be the last Superman movie, and they just kind of threw out whatever they could to make a quick buck. All in all, a bad comic book movie and just something you should stay away from if you have a choice. Now in at number five we have Elektra. If you've seen the movie, that's all I should have to say. Okay, if you haven't seen the movie, I'll explain a little more. Um, Electro is basically a spin-off of Daredevil. Daredevil, which was considered a bad enough movie on its own, but this movie makes Daredevil look like the Avengers. It's that bad. Nothing good about it. Uh, the, the plot line is some ridiculous story of her trying to save a father and his daughter against ninjas. And yeah, I guess it could have been well done if maybe uh, Frank Miller had been involved in writing it, but it was just piss poor on all levels. All right, in at number four, we have Batman and Robin. Bat nipples. That's really the only thing I can think of to say. You've probably seen this movie and understand how bad it is. If you don't understand how bad this movie is, then you've probably never read a comic book or watched too many comic book movies. It's that bad. I mean, everything about it is horrible. There's nothing redeeming about it. It's just a piss poor movie. I mean, the only thing you can say about it is at least it's kind of bright and colorful. I mean, who thought Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze would have been a good idea? I mean, just in general, bad across all fronts. Stay away from it. All right, now we're in the top three now. And in at number three, we have X-Men The Last Stand. Just a bad, bad movie. I mean, this was an insult to people who love not only the two previous movies, but who love the comic books as well. Uh, I mean, basically, they killed off half the cast in the movie, and the other half really were just written poorly. I mean, it was just a bad movie all around. This movie actually would have benefited from Brian Singer staying on to do the third movie like he had done the previous two, instead of going off to ruin Superman Returns. But instead, what we got was Brett Ratner, who, let's be honest, if it doesn't star Jackie Chan, he can't direct his way out of a paper bag. All right, now, in at number two, we have Steel, starring Shaquille O'Neal. Now... For most of you, that should be enough, just that sentence right there. But for those of you that don't know, I mean, basically what we did is we took Steel, which was a mediocre at best DC character, which in all honesty was really DC's attempt at affirmative action. And we had him acted and portrayed by somebody who can't make it through a two-minute interview of yes and no questions without screwing up. I mean, it really is as bad as it sounds. If you've never seen it, literally just think your lucky stars. It's an absolutely abysmal movie in every way. And in at number one, we have Catwoman by Halle Berry. I mean, 
I can't even explain how bad this movie is. I would tell you to watch it, except I'd be afraid you'd hate me for it later. I mean, basically we take the name of a character from DC Comics and then change everything else. There's nothing about this movie that has anything to do with Catwoman. The character being played isn't even Selina Kyle. It's a completely different character, completely different origin. It doesn't even take place in the world of Batman or in DC's world in general. It's just an offshoot movie with the name Catwoman simply to attract an audience. I mean, everything about it is utterly horrible on all levels. I mean, Halle Berry can act, but in this movie she didn't even try. I mean, hands down, this is the worst comic book movie ever, ever made. Well, there you have it, guys. My list of the eight worst comic book movies of all time. Now, there's tons of horrible comic book movies out there, so what I want you to do is leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your eight horrible comic book movies are. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll talk to you later.